Hell yeah. Man, let's get that day. Take out work and grab it. Make it our bitch. Love at work. Let's get that work. Moving on. Kicking ass and taking names. Bad, bad motherfuckers. What is up, my friends? It is a fantastic, beautiful, kind of almost probably going to rain, eh, beautiful kind of day here in Arkansas. It's a Thursday. That's my Friday. Forgive me if I celebrate. Yes, it is the end of my work week. Now I get to go home and figure out something to do. This weekend I'm going to do something cool though. I'm going to have a video. I'm going to have a cooking video. Split pea soup. Little dog style. And uh, we'll do something else out in the shop. How about that? I, I got to do something out in the shop so I can do a mail call. I got to do, I got big dog leathers mail call I got to do. Oh man, sticker call. I just wanted really just to log in and tell you that I love you. I care about you and I'm thinking about you and I am praying for you. I hope you're having a great week. And I hope you know that you're a bad motherfucker. Regardless of whatever's going on in your life, you know it because uh, you're still here. <laughs> You've done it. You've made it. Hey, how about that, POTUS? That man is listening to the people. I like these listening sessions. I like it because you and I can see that he's leading and he's listening and he's doing what it takes. Now, it's no surprise to me that the people who the media chose to be the representatives of these kids, the ones who have wealthy parents and think like them and that are absolutely well-spoken and everything, those people didn't attend this listening session. But there were other people there. A lot of them I agree with. A lot of them made me think this is the point of the listening session. Like, I'm, I'm thinking it's a great idea that if teachers have guns and everything and... and I see where they're thinking it's a bad idea because they're thinking that someone's going to force all teachers to have a gun. But that's not what was said at all. What was said was we need training. We need people who have guns, like that coach who charged that boy and was killed. If he had a gun, but he did exactly what I would have done without a gun. You might as well take a chance. You're going to get shot anyway. You might as well take a chance at stopping that shit from happening. That man's a hero. Like that young man from the ROTC. There are three of them, apparently, who died in service. But one of them always wanted to be at West Point. So they posthumously put him in. That was a great honor. Wouldn't it have been nice if that young leader were alive today? And I do believe that if they had more security guards and they had teachers with guns teachers who wanted to have guns not forcing teachers teachers who feel comfortable with it who've had the training now that'll give you a little bit extra money if you go through the training how about that I don't know how loud that buzzing is to you but that is just fucking God quit <laughs> Yeah, I think President's doing a good job. He's learning uh, about what America wants, and he's listening. Now, if that doesn't ease up some asshats, I don't know. There was one young man, though, and I felt so bad for him, and I was disappointed in the president, but I can see why he wouldn't have done this. But if that young man was crying and hurting so bad in front of me, I would have went over and hugged the boy. 18 years old, I lost my best friend. But then he started quoting Chris Cuomo's fake news about buying a gun in 15 minutes and walking out with all that shit. No, that's not possible. 
That doesn't happen. He didn't even fill out the background check. That was a lie. That's fake news. When I bought my Glock, it took at least an hour. It took about an hour. It took about 45 minutes for the background check to come through, and I was already background checked via my carry and conceal. So, that's bullshit. Some people say you don't need ARs. I say we need ARs. They're a deterrent. The more the better. But we need to have training. You need to have maybe even institute of uh, a, a year or two of military service in with our citizenship. If you want to make these people citizens, they're doing it already like that. All I know is we have to do something still. The president is working on it. But let's not go overboard. Let's do something and see how it works. I don't like the idea of raising the age limit for a weapon when you can go fight for your country at 18 and die holding a weapon. You can't buy one in the United States. That's bullshit. That's, that's not, I can't see how that, I can't see how that'll pass. I just can't, I don't. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a fine line. You're infringing on people's rights or you're enforcing someone's rights of, of happiness and health and life and liberty. It's, it's, a hard, it's a hard decision. It's a hard thing to do. And now some people, that's a no-brainer because they don't know anything about guns. They don't care about guns. They can't see why anybody would need a gun. But I see why people need guns. I need guns because there will be no one who will come and invade this country. It's uninvadable, it can't be invaded. If it comes down to it where there is some shit hit the fan, guns will save this country. It'll save the normal people. That is, is it getting louder? Wow. Yeah. Plus there's food, there's all kinds of reasons why you would need that gun and mostly as a deterrent I mean because it's really I had a, a 22 Savage uh, rifle and it fired just like an AR-15 and it, you wouldn't even think twice about it oh it's 22 it's, it's just bullet is bigger than the AR-15 the, the actual projectile you get shot with a 22 and it follows your bones. You understand? Look, you can't, you can't, you can't do that to someone. You can't take other people's rights just because you're fearful for yours. So we have to find some balance. The president is working on it. Now I do believe Congress is working on it. I don't think Florida's legislature is even thinking twice about these kids. But I did see Marco Rubio get cornered into a CNN town hall thing where people just attacked him constantly. And he held his fucking ground. And a little bit more respect for little Marco. <laughs> Lately, he joked about him, about the water thing, and then he joked about, yeah, yeah, he's, he's all right. All right, I'm going to get off here. i got to go to work. I love you, and I care about you, and I'm thinking about you, and I'm praying for you, and I hope you're praying for me. I need it. Do something for somebody. Love each other. Be good. Be each other's motherfuckers. Kendall Wright, you are such a fucking badass. Huh? You think the shit you do ain't worth shit, and someone... 
said they give you fifty dollars for that axe last night. Are you serious? You're a bad motherfucker. You don't even know it. It's got to be proved to you. Why has it got to be proved to you over and over again that you're a fucking badass? I don't know, I've got all kinds of friends like that. All kinds of friends like that. Who are just bad motherfuckers. Who have an awesome talent. Who do awesome things. And they don't even look at it like that. They think they're handicapped. Be happy. If you gotta, if you gotta, okuna matata. If you do whatever you gotta do, use whatever adjectives make you happy. Think positive. Be positive. Act proactively. Climb the mountain of life and yodel from the fucking top. Yodel, eh? You're a fucking badass. Have a good one. Little doggy.